Today we are going to explore another perfume called Imperial Valley from Kissa or Kissa Perfumes uh, which is a brand from Kuwait. Uh, so Middle Eastern or uh, Arabian uh, brands I really love their perfumes uh, and um, I have heard a lot about this perfume Imperial Valley let's find out that it stands uh, for its performance and all that you know buzz around it. I have seen a video I think about from Demi uh, and uh, that girl actually was praising this one a lot. Uh, I am going to review now let's find out and spray this. So this is Imperial Valley from Kissa or Gissa perfumes uh, Kuwait. Okay, so let's spray this. Oh, this one is really good and uh, it is kind of uh, like very aromatic oudi kind of like um, light leathery in the start yes it is musky it has light citrus maybe just to balance it for me i am getting musk leather aromatic uh, lightness uh, uplifting kind of mood from this perfume Imperial Valley. Again it has that kind of um, oud, uh, a kind of like uh, dirty kind of oud, oud kind of uh, you know vibe to it which is mostly in um, you might find in a lot of oud very cheap or affordable oud uh, perfumes. But it has been balanced by some aromatic or maybe some florals, something like that. The start was very good. Now I am having something like um, sparkling kind of oud and light leather. It is not very heavy kind of leather. It is a great summer scent for me. It is a great summer perfume for men, even for women, I think. There is just one note, maybe it's a floral note, I'm not sure, but it is disturbing me a little bit. Um, yes, I think it is floral or some green note, I think they have listed Davana or something, yes. Overall, it's very powerful, it's a very light green woody woody uh, little bit of skankiness or kind of like dirtiness uh, kind of oud uh, light very light leathery aromatic sparkling kind of perfume that is great for summers and I think it would suit men or women both but for me if you if you say that it uh, sparks luxury or elegance or uh, richness I think that is not present over here so it is kind of like your daily perfume for office or maybe you are going out in the summer to to some store for shopping maybe something like that yes okay so uh, now uh, I have heard a lot about Imperial Valley but for me I think it is uh, kind of like uh, from scent profile I would give it like 7 out of 10 it is not very very unique the top note was good but uh, in, next it is very linear and I have sniffed these kind of perfumes just a little variation from uh, normal oud perfumes uh, that you find on stores and um, then there is some greenness into it which is a good direction a, a bit, little bit different direction from other oud perfumes uh, they are very linear it is kind of like it has some direction a little bit different but overall I would give it 7 out of 10 for scent profile performance I think it would be great because these perfumes are powerful that is why I think uh, uh, most of the perfumers or Arabian uh, Middle Eastern people they love very powerful perfumes I know that 
and yes it is a nice uh, daily wear and uh, if you get headaches from very powerful perfumes i would uh, say that make sure you test this on your skin and uh, test it one or two days and see if uh, you don't get any headaches then try to use it i would not uh, say that it's a blind buy but i think it is kind of in mass pleasing kind of region okay so if i say that most of the people would love it yes i think most of the people would enjoy it it's a safe kind of scent but it's a bit more pinchy and powerful and that might irritate few people maybe closer to you uh, not far away but closer to you so in closed spaces i really remember that once i was in an airplane and an air hostess she was wearing a perfume it was a good perfume but it was so cloying and i was you know whenever she used to pass around me i was getting a headache so i just you know covered my nose like this although it was a good perfume she had a great makeup put on her she was beautiful but the problem was that it was too intense that i wasn't able to bear it i was getting headaches so whenever you wear a perfume make sure that if you are in a very close kind of environment uh, like airplanes they are you know um, close containers kind of uh, tin containers so if you are in a tin container try to use a very light very delicate very uplifting um, kind of perfume not very cloying or dark or dense kind of perfumes or very high florals try to use something like which has vetiver and citrus more which is kind of refreshing yes it is very good floral kind of oudi perfume with some woodiness light leather leathery uh, muskiness and light greenness very light and yes it is aromatic it is uplifting and aromatic so this is my review about imperial valley from kissa perfumes i hope if you have used it uh, make sure you put your comments down below do you like it or not and uh, this is my honest review about uh, imperial valley there was a lot of hype around this perfume so i just you know i think burst the bubble and um, for me i would give it 7 out of 10 performance 8 out of 10 and longevity and sealage i think it would be 8 out of 10 uh, but i think um, overall i would uh, it is not a must buy for my taste my personal taste you might like it okay so that is all i hope to see you soon in another video i think sometimes i detrack uh, a little bit but it's how you tell a story about perfumes and uh, you know your your journey around perfumes so we'll meet you in another video till then take care bye bye see you soon allah hafiz and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh